Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. Now, we have a bit more rehousing business going on, and this time it will be with some of the baby centipedes from earlier in the year, or should I say late last year at this point. These four are all I have left of this season's first batch of baby centipedes, the Silver Valley Locale Ethmostigmus Rub Rubpez, and they are definitely in need of new homes. I mean, look at that. That thing has certainly outgrown its current enclosure. So that is what the first part of this video is going to be about. So here's what I got prepared for them. Reusing these enclosures from uh, some of my older centipede babies from the season before, which have of course outgrown these. So, you know, recycling. Recycling is a good thing to do. All right, let's get this going. And I know it looks a little bit dry. I'll spray it after the fact. Hi. Let's improve that lighting, shall we? They're very pretty. Whoa, 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 I was complimenting you. You don't need to freak out like that. Poor centipede, I guess you're just not used to being complimented. You think you have it hard? Take a look at the funnel webs. Now, compared to the tiger form rub rub hairs, the silver valleys aren't all that schizo... Schi is that even a word? You know what I mean. It, it, it's a, in fact, exactly, I'll leave it at that. Their temperament is beyond words. Now, the Silver Valleys aren't quite as whatever word you want to use. Probably a lot of swear words involved, but of course, they can still have their moments. Honestly, I feel like I'll just tip it in. And it's sitting still. Wow, that is almost unheard of in centipede rehousing videos. Now I'll give the new enclosure a bit of a spray, not too much because there's already moist substrate in there and these centipedes, they come from a reasonably dry habitat, but just a little bit. Don't freak out little guy, and that should do. Next up we have this chunky fella, well what am I saying, they're all really chunky and you wait till you see their mother. Can't see it, but at least it's not running around my room. Right, I gotta say, this is going very smoothly. Oh, I, I, I okay. Huh. Oh, a bit nervous about unfamiliar surfaces, are we? Good, good. Maybe that'll mean you're less likely to bolt. Dup. Mm, here we go. Okay, focus camera, please focus. I knew something was going to happen, because I mean, you know, centipedes. No, 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 not the sleeve, not the sleeve. Really should follow my own advice of, uh, focus camera of not wearing long sleeves while handling centipedes. Oh, camera, are you going to focus? Like, in all seriousness, this centipede is pretty chilled out, and are you going to rest? No, you're not. Ah, I gotta love baby centipedes. They got their moments, like all babies do, but ultimately they're just the cutest thing ever. And in this video, they're only the second most uncooperative thing behind my freaking camera, which barely knows how to focus. Right, playtime's over. Pop into your new home. And last but not least, we have this charming little fellow. This one, uh, if you can't already tell, it is a somewhat lighter shade of green than the other three. Almost, I mean, the, the lighting sort of ruins it here, but it's almost a lime green colour in real life. Keen to see if it stays that way as it grows. Hey, big brain moment. Let's spray the substrate before putting the centipede in. Right, in your pop. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just lying on its back. Oh no, it's moving now. Alright, well this centipede doesn't seem to be all that keen to do anything interesting for us. And when it comes to centipede rehouses, oftentimes the less interesting the better 
for me at least. Now, I feel like showing their mother off because I haven't really featured her on many of my videos at all. So we'll see if she needs a feed. Hi. Oh, wow, wow, you, no, you definitely do not need a feed. Look at you. You know, normally I think centipedes look impressive and formidable, but you look like you're cosplaying as the very hungry caterpillar. Hi, right, so, are you gonna do anything interesting for us, or are you just gonna sit there curled up in a coil? You're not a millipede, you know, you don't have to curl up all the time. What are you doing? What is that? Is that sign language? Are you nodding at me or something? What is that? You know what, something tells me this centipede is pre-malt. I mean, one, she's fat as a... I don't know, she's just fat. And two, yeah, the way she's moving in that kind of stiff manner does suggest to me that she might be molting soon. So that means we'll be greeted with the sight of a bigger centipede in the not so distant future. Anyway, that is our centipede business done for this video. Now let's turn our attention to the baby katydids. And just like these centipedes, they are definitely in need of a new home. Well, 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 the time has come, my friends. My katydid breeding project with Acropisa reticulata is being a tremendous success. And honestly, the rearing enclosure that I had prepared for the nymphs has very quickly become overcrowded. So they are definitely in need of an upgrade. And that is what this is going to be all about. So here's the new enclosure. Granted, it is hardly the most attractive thing in the world, but they're not going to be living in here long term. It's just a rearing enclosure for the recently hatched nymphs. What we have here are the leaves of the vine on which they feed. I have finally identified the species. It is Parsonsia straminia. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, that is what this population of Acropisa, at least, seem to feed almost exclusively on. Although they will take some fruit if you offer it to them. And now it's time for the stars of the show, the katydids themselves. And trust me when I say there are a lot of them in here. It became crowded really, really quick. And there are a ton more eggs left and more and more hatching every single day. So, you know, this new enclosure here might end up becoming crowded as well. But let's do it one step at a time, shall we? Ah, hi guys. Yeah, you very quickly run out of leaves when you got that many katydids in a small confined space. I'm not entirely sure how I want to relocate them. What I think I'm going to do is do it baby centipede style and get a bunch of them into a transfer container in the meantime. So you, you come with me. The good thing about Acropisa is that they aren't quite as uh, athletic as some other katydids like Ephipitatha and Torbia. So, they're not going to be jumping all over the place. Okay, so that's four, and as you can see, they are already starting to look a little bit like their adult counterparts. Obviously, nowhere near as impressive, they don't have the vivid blue and red threat display just yet, but they're getting there. Okay, you guys can stop moving around, please. That one there's a little bit bigger than the rest, that one's already molted once, I think that was the first one to hatch. Focus please, camera. So the first lot of katydids are in their new enclosure. Uh, here's hoping they're just going to shelter among the leaves and not going to try and wander around too much because I get to do a bit of multitasking here and leave this open while I'm working with the rest of them. So there's two of them sitting on the lid right here. I think it should be easy enough for me to just nudge them straight into here. There we go, that's one. And that's two.
I do not like keeping an eye on multiple open enclosures at the same time. This KDid is actually in a threat pose. Now like I said it's nowhere near as uh, stunning as the threat pose of the adults, but it's still enough for you to notice. And let's get them in. Okay, so the newcomers are just having a wander around. And honestly, they seem to have settled in really fast, which is great. <laughs> Better say, katydids are really growing on me. They are such a fascinating group of insects. And my battery died. Well, I'm sure you got the gist of what was happening anyway. And the katydids didn't really do anything out of the ordinary after that. At least they were a whole lot more cooperative than some other invertebrates. <coughs> centipedes. <coughs> that cough sounded a lot like centipede. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, that is the end of this video. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy my uploads, then feel free to check out some of my other videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, farewell.